Wow, I put way too much. Like, it's so fuzzy. Like, am I supposed to wet this? This is not gonna work, girl. Like, where is it? I can't even see it. Y'all, I love this brush. If you don't have it, get it. Okay, let's use this. Welcome back. We are doing a face, a full face today, a full face of new makeup. I have some new makeup I want to try out and I am very excited about it. So I, let me show you the stuff. Let me just show you what we're using today. We are going to be trying out some e.l.f. products, some Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So the very first thing I want to try out is this lip product because my lips are super duper duper dry right now. It's the e.l.f. Cosmetics Holy Hydration Lip Mask. Did y'all know they had a new lip mask? I did not know they had a new lip mask. So we're going to try this really quick. Got a little applicator that comes with it. This is how the little container looks. Really tiny. Um, how much is in here? Mm -mm -mm, 0.15 ounces. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Oh, ooh. I like, okay, why was I putting this up for y'all to smell it? But I like the way it smells. It has a different scent. It's kind of fruity. I don't really use these. So I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh, this is very, very soft. Very, 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 very soft, y'all. I won't use that much. Put it on the lips. Mmm. Okay. I like it. I mean, it feels like any other lip mask. But... I guess I could say it's kind of similar to the Laneige sleeping mask, lip sleeping mask, kind of similar to it. It feels like it. I don't know. It just feels normal, like a normal lip sleeping mask. I mean, this is just marketed as a, a lip mask, but I'm sure you can wear it at night as a lip sleeping mask. But I like it. It's cute. I like the way it smells. Okay. So let me show you what else we're going to try out today. I also have a new face cream from Elf Cosmetics. It's the Holy Hydration Face Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Now, since I'm going to use this, I'm going to have to use a, dang, I have two face creams. I didn't know if I want to use this one or this one from Keys. I've never tried anything from Keys. This is the Protect Your Light Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. So don't know which one I want to use. I'll have to see, but both of these are new. Haven't tried them out yet, but I haven't tried anything from Keys before. So I might lean towards this one today. Um, okay, so I pulled out a new concealer out of my collection. Well, it's not new. It's just a new, it just hasn't been opened. <laughs> but it's one of my old favorite concealers. It's the Lip Bar Concealer. Haven't used this in so, so long. So I want to, Start back using this. I use the shade Cinnamon. Yeah, Cinnamon. And again, it's the Quick Conceal um, Self Setting and Brightening Concealer from the Lip Bar. So we're gonna use that. I got a few things from House Labs. We got the blush. Well, this is a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as a blush in the shade Chocolate Opal. We also have um, a bronzer, which I have yet to use. Girl, this has been in my drawer for a long time, <laughs> but I haven't used it yet. It's the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in the shade Deep Level 11. Got that. We also have a lip product from House Labs that I am dying to try out. I've had this for a few weeks now, still haven't tried it, but I wanted to try it with y'all. But it's the House Labs um, Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer in the shade Rosewood Shine. These are always sold out. I'm hoping that I understand why it's always sold out after I use it. So hopefully we understand the hype once we try that out today. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette is the new Rose Metals. So we're gonna try that. I also needed to pull out a new Tatcha 
um, spray. This is my Holy Grail face spray. It's not a setting spray, but I like to use it because it gives my skin, like it brings my skin back to life after I put on all my powders and stuff. It just makes my skin look like skin. So it's just a dewy spray that I always like to use. So had to open up another one of those today. I have a sponge that I want to try out from Juno and Co. I hear great things about their sponges, so we're gonna try that. We have another bronzer. I don't know which one I'm gonna use today, but I wanted to pull this one out too, to, I guess, test out as well. It's the ColourPop Bronzer in the shade Paradise City. Yeah, it's one of their new bronzers. Paradise City is a shade. I also pulled this out. So a lot of this stuff, like, yeah, most of the stuff that I'm pulling out, I received in PR and I just want to try it out. So I also pulled this cream bronzer out because I kind of want to put this on first and then go on top of it with one of the um, powder bronzers. But this is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Blaze. And y'all, I think this is going to be too light. I don't know. We'll see once we start putting it on the face. Um, I have a new mascara I want to try out today by Kaja. So they sent this Wink Lash Trio to me. It's the Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara and it has like three different um, wands, which I will show you. And then we have a new lip product from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lippy in the shade Cheeky. I've seen these all over. I just haven't tried it out yet. But that's all. Oh, I have another. Okay. Don't know. Well, I pulled this out because I might need to use it. It's the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Edit Eyeshadow Palette. Brand new. Haven't opened it. I purchased this a while back and I still haven't opened it. So I might need to use this today. So that's why I went ahead and pulled it out. But first things first, let's put something on the skin because I need to put on... Some moisturizer the only thing i have on today is my um serum from fresh beauty the tea elixir one and i actually just used it up today i like used the last few drops today but uh anyway let's see do i want to use this or do i want to use the keys which one y'all elf has 30 spf 30 keys also has spf 30 um, Elf has hyaluronic acid and peptides, which I love. Keys has. Oh, wow. I don't even see hyaluronic acid in this. Uh, okay. I can't pronounce any of this. But. Mm. Now, if I use this, I'm going to have to use a primer on top because this isn't these aren't primers. Let's go with e.l.f. Let's just go with e.l.f. And then I'll try out the keys in another video. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so fragrance free. Because I don't smell anything really. So let's... Put her on. I'm gonna put that much on. I probably went in too heavy with it, but we will try to <laughs> rub it in. Yeah, there's no fragrance. Wow, I put way too much. Let's put some on the hands because my hands are dry, girl. My hands are dry. Mm. Ooh, it absorbs really good. It doesn't leave a white cast. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting it all in my hair, girl. Oh, wow. Do y'all see how fast this is absorbing? It is absorbing really fast. And it's not leaving a white cast at all. Y'all see that? I... I'm here for it already. I'm here for it, girl. Already here for it. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. I like that it's fragrance free and I like that it does not leave a white cast. It's very moisturizing um i mean obviously it's a moisturizer but 
it's very hydrating that's what i'm trying to say okay so skin types is for dry skin oily skin and combination skin i have combination skin if you don't know um i'm just oily on my t-zone and that's it but okay y'all know what i need i need me a new brow pencil which i actually just ordered one i ordered one when sephora um not sephora amazon amazon was having their prime day and the anastasia beverly hills brow pencil was on sale so i ordered a couple of those i use a shade dark brown this has been my go-to brow pencil for a while now since i've used up the ones that i used to always use i used to always use the huda brow pencil um my covergirl brow pencil and i just wanted to kind of give those a break instead of just um purchasing them again and again and again i kind of wanted to go back to my anastasia brow pencil and i use the shade dark brown so i have like yeah i can't even twist this up anymore i will probably finish this up right now okay so if you didn't notice when i was doing my mini haul a minute ago i didn't share a foundation because i don't have a new foundation but I am gonna be purchasing the House Labs foundation because I keep seeing that everywhere and you guys have been asking for a review on that. So I am gonna be getting it. I just gotta figure out my shade because um, I wanna get it in store. And I actually might go pick it up. And I know the Sephora sale is happening like really soon, but I wanna actually get it before that and review, review it for you guys before then so that way you'll know if you want it or not and you can just pick it up during the sephora sale but yeah i want to get it out of the store so i can test it out in store and all of that so i will definitely be getting that foundation i see you guys' comments i will be getting it really really soon okay yeah i need to give me a new brow pencil the one that i ordered is actually here i just haven't opened the packages i kind of want to do like an amazon haul because i ordered quite a few things off amazon even before the prime sale i ordered some stuff and some of the stuff is still like in the boxes and in the bags so i think i want to do an amazon haul or either just show it in um in a vlog one of those but yeah okay that is good enough i don't even want to spend too much time on the brows i'm gonna use my concealer from rim beauty i always use this stuff i think i'm gonna be using this on the face today too yeah i'm gonna do that today but um i'm gonna use a shade deep two to clean up under the brows to clean up the brows i gotta go wet that sponge because i don't want to use it dry I'd rather have my sponges wet than dry. Mm. Also, by the way, if you're new to my channel, because we have um, we've gotten some new faces on the channel. So if you're new, welcome. My get ready with me videos are usually pretty laid back. Like it's just it's like we're just chilling, you know, really laid back It's nothing to over the top i'm just sitting at my vanity casually doing my makeup with you guys so and um i have a ton of tutorials on my channel where i show you like my everyday makeup routine so if y'all see me doing like if you see me in videos where i'm not doing my makeup like the sit down videos either doing hauls or just random videos where i sit here and talk about products um, and you see that my face is fully done nine times no ten times out of ten I have that same look as a tutorial on my channel so if you want to see those um, then um, they're definitely on my channel and you can easily find them by just typing in Andrea Renee natural makeup or everyday makeup look something like that and like all the videos based on that will pop up on the page mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm 
Okay, my brows are not my favorite today. I don't really like them, but it will work. It will work. I need to, um, I need to arch them. Cause they're great. like, they're growing out really fast. And I just need to arch my brows, but I don't feel like doing it today. So I'm just gonna do it tomorrow, tomorrow. Excuse me. So after I do that, I'm just gonna take the sponge. Um, I already wet this sponge. I forgot I pulled this one out to use today. I'm gonna, let me just go wet this. Let's go wet this like, I'll be back. Okay. I had to run back in here to tell y'all about the sponge. This feels so weird. <laughs> it feels so weird. Like it's so fuzzy. Like, am I supposed to wet this? I'm gonna wet it anyway, but the way it feels is weird. Okay, this is what it looks like once I wet it. You can see that it got bigger. I don't know, it's just so satisfying. Very satisfying. Like I could just do this all day, kind of like a stress ball, you know? But I don't know. I just like the way it feels. So let me just blend this out. I mean, it blends out pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it's just like I'm putting, um, I'm blending out my concealer with a really hairy sponge. <laughs> Cause it feels so hairy, like fur. I just realized I didn't use a primer. I just used the moisturizer with SPF. So I'm not even gonna use a primer today. I feel like I don't really need it. Um, so we're just going to go in with the concealer again. We're going to take this and then take the Juno & Co sponge, dip it in there like that, and then just put it where I need it on the small imperfections. So around my chin where I'm usually darker. This has been my go-to routine. Just putting this on and then putting on my um, powder from MAC. I think I'm gonna do that today because I don't have a new powder either. I'm just gonna be using that concealer. And then the other stuff that I'm using today is gonna be new, so yeah. Okay, this sponge is not bad, y'all. It's really not that bad. This and my MAC powder is literally all I need. But going in with my favorite concealer, one of my favorite concealers from um, the drugstore. You can get this out of Target now. They sell lip bar in Target. And I, um, I said earlier the shade, right? Yeah, I told y'all the shade. But it's cinnamon, by the way. Everything is going to be in the description, girl. Everything I talk about, everything I use is always in the description. But... I like this concealer because of the coverage and I like that it doesn't crease. So I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. Chin, forehead, I don't put a lot of concealer right here. I just put about that much because I really don't need a lot. Because once you start blending out the concealer, it, you know, it spreads. So I don't really have to go too heavy with it. Um, and that's it. And then taking the Juno & Co sponge to blend it out. I don't have a new uh, loose setting powder. So I'm going to take the, uh, the Laura Mercier setting powder to set it today. out yeah this sponge is it's, it's different it's really different I'll have to get used to it because it feels kind of weird <laughs> and it also it doesn't even feel wet anymore like it doesn't even feel damp it feels dry like I didn't even put water on it but it's something to get used to 
I almost didn't want to put makeup on today, y'all, because I really wanted to give my skin um, a break. But I've been, I've been wanting to put this video up for the past week now. And I said, let me just go ahead and film it for you guys because I want to open these products and try them out with y'all. But yeah, I wanted, I almost wanted to just not do makeup this week because I wanted to let my skin breathe because I'm starting to see a few breakouts on my forehead. And I know, like, I get so annoyed when that happens. And sometimes I don't even know what it's from. Um, so I'm trying not to let it get too bad. And there's the like really like it's the breakouts you can barely see like you have to really be like up close and personal to see it. It's those really tiny, 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 tiny breakout, almost like the heat rash breakouts. Um, so, yeah. So I'm not going to do my makeup tomorrow or the day after that or the day after that or the day after that. So today is going to be the only day I'm doing my makeup this week. Okay, let me set it with the Laura Mercier. I wonder how, ooh, it picked, wow. Okay, this sponge, one thing it will do is pick up a lot of powder. Like I barely pressed it into the powder and it picked up so much. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. This sponge might be better with setting powder, like with loose setting powder, because it picked up a lot. And I know it's from um, the fur on it. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but it's a furry sponge. And that had a lot to do with it. It had a lot to do with it picking up so much powder because it, it it just grabbed onto the fur <laughs> like y'all I, I kid you not i am barely touching the sponge into the powder and it's picking up so much i have to keep taking some off because it picks up a lot yeah this is a good sponge for setting powder if you want to use it to oh. um if you want to use it for your setting powder this is good is really good because it picks up a lot and you can see that it's blending it out really good too so okay let me get my chin nose so it definitely holds the powder really good now I'm going to use my MAC powder, MAC mineralized skin finish in the shade Dark Deepest to set the entire face. Just go around it where I didn't apply any of the loose powder. So around the sides, under my chin, around my mouth. And then the forehead. Okay. See how I literally don't need foundation like this works. Okay. Let's try the bronzer, the bronzers, because I have a few. Let me try this first to see what it looks like. It's the um, the Milk Matte Bronzer in the shade Blaze, y'all. I mean, this honestly looks like my, like it looks like it's going to look like a foundation on me because it doesn't look dark enough at all. Let me swatch it. Let's swatch and see. And I think this is their darkest, yeah. <laughs> this is not gonna work, girl. Like, where is it? I can't even see it. Girl, uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are not using this. I 
can't like I can't even see that on my freaking hand so what makes you think I'm gonna see it on my face but yeah that bronzer is definitely a no-go so let's try um I just oh the color pop and this one from House Labs. Let's try ColourPop first. I already know this is gonna work and I already know the one from House Lab is gonna work because they look bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, Paradise City. Let me open it because there's a reflection. There we go, Paradise City. Look how pretty, let's swatch. Let's see. Oh yeah, ooh, this is a gorgeous warm bronzer. Look at that, ooh, she is very pretty. And let's swatch um, Deep Level 11 from House Labs. I'm throwing all this trash on the floor, but I'm gonna get it once I get done. Okay, so this is House Labs. And then this is how Deep Level 11 looks. She looks good, right? She looks really good. Let's give her a swatch. I like how this feels. It feels kind of like a cream. Oh. She's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be, though. So I think ColourPop might be, I mean, let's use them both so y'all can see how it looks on me, but I think ColourPop might be the winner, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. But yeah, when I put my finger in the house labs, it kind of felt um, kind of creamy. I'm gonna use my Sephora brush. Let's do house labs on. Let's actually use both on, well, house labs on one side and then color pop on the other, just to see if it's gonna, um, y'all, I love this brush. If you don't have it, get it. Okay, get it. The color pop, not color pop, but the Sephora number 50 brush is this size and there's one that's like a mini one that I've been using for blush lately. It's this one right here. And it's literally the same brush, it's just smaller. But I've been using this one for my um, with my blush. But let's see what House Labs looks like on her. We're gonna put it on this side. What is that? Why is there like a little patch right there? Oh well, okay. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, okay. This looks way better than I thought. Like it looks better than the swatch. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I want to use ColourPop? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Do I want to use ColourPop, girl? Because I like this. I like this. Hold on, let me shift my wig, y'all. Let me pull it back some. <laughs> I had to pull it back some. Okay. I like it. What do y'all think? Let me put a little bit more on this side yeah i like this i like the color like i like it okay for the sake of it let's go ahead and put color pop on this side i'm gonna flip the brush over because i use mostly this part of the brush so i'm gonna flip it over to kind of use this a little bit kind of wipe most of it off though all right let's go in with color pop Might not even be a difference, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this side. Hold on, let me try to put a little bit more color pop on. I think House Labs, you can see it more. It's warmer color pop. I mean, it's, it's going on there, but it's not as rich. See that? You could, like... It's not as rich as House Labs. And on the swatch, 
I could see ColourPop more than I could House Labs, even though they both look dark enough. But I felt like House Labs wasn't gonna be it. Now that I have on the face, I like House Labs even more. Like I like it way more than ColourPop. Okay, yeah. Let me do the rest of my face with House Labs because this one, this is it. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that girl. Look how warm the forehead. I love me a warm bronzed forehead. I love it. So I like to go heavy, okay? I like to go heavy with my bronzer, y'all. So if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, oh girl, you putting too much, I like a lot of bronzer on my forehead. A lot. Okay, yes. I am here for the house lap bronzer. I am all the way here for it, front row and center girl, here for it. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer, the NARS Cream Laguna, Laguna 5, just for my nose, cause I always like to use a cream for my nose contour. I'm gonna go in with, um, and then using this Sonia Kashuk double sided brush, which I am obsessed with. I love her sponge, um, her, her sponges too, but I love her brushes. You can find them at Target. I know why I was sitting like this, like my mirror is crooked. Now I can look straight ahead. I was trying to look like this, but my mirror was crooked. I had to move it y'all, okay. Yes, House Labs bronzer. Yes, eyeshadow. Let's play with the Anastasia palette. I think I'm gonna have to go in with the NYX palette first though, because, ah, uh, can I not get the top on? Okay, there we go. Put these up. Okay, so. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's try this out. Rose Metals eyeshadow palette. But this is what Rose Metals looks like. Okay, I might not have to go in with the NYX palette because I really wanted to use this to start out with. But now that I see this again, I see I can probably go in with this color first because I want to go in with a soft neutral shade for my crease. And I think that color might work. Yeah. I love this, y'all, because it's like mostly mattes and I am here for matte eyeshadow. But let's just use this today. Let's use one palette and then, ooh, you know what? I am gonna use this because I like the dark, like that black charcoal color in here. I wanna use that to smoke out the eye. So before I do that though, let me, let me at least go in with Noble, that brown color right there. And let's see, um, hold on girl, let me get right, let me get right. Take this eyeshadow off of this brush because I already know. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a clean. Well, that's a little bit on there. It's not bad. Okay, this brush is fairly clean. But yeah, let's go in with this. And I noticed this palette doesn't have a brush. They usually come with, um, Anastasia palettes usually come with those little double-sided double brushes, but this one did not. So let's try this color out. Ooh. Ooh, okay, this is, this is, this is, this is pretty dark. Well, darker than what I was expecting. So I might not have to go in with the other palette. I like this, I like the color. I like it. I'm only putting it right here though. I'm not gonna put it all over. I'm just gonna put it on the corner like that okay let me um get y'all a little closer so see i'm just putting it right here on the corner of my lid okay 
Now that I have both sides done, I'm gonna take the brush. I'm not gonna put it in the palette. I'm just gonna, whatever is left on the brush, I just go into the crease like this. I just swipe, um, take it back and forth into the crease. Because honestly, you don't have to put the brush back into the eyeshadow to put anything in the crease. Just use whatever is left on it. It's gonna make it look softer too when you do it that way. Okay, now I definitely want to go into the crease again with another color though. And I'm thinking about Doom, this one right there, because it's a uh, really warm, it's pretty warm and I want the crease to be warmer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick with the same brush, tap it into this, probably tap it like one, two, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I picked up too much. Don't want that much. All right, tap it in there one time and then take it into the crease. Yeah, there we go. See, see how warm it looks. I like that. I remember back when I used to do eyeshadow all the time, like when I was like giving y'all full blown eyeshadow looks, I used to blow on my brush like this. And some people were like, don't blow on your brush. I'm like, girl, it's my breath. It's my germs. Relax. Okay. Okay, she's looking cute. Now the question is, what do I wanna do for the inner corner right here? Like what color do we wanna do? What do we, okay, naturally I would go with this one. Y'all know I love my purples, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do something else. Let's go in with, hmm. Heavenly? I feel like that's gonna look too frosty, like too frosty. Haze? Uh, let me give y'all some swatches. Okay, I'm gonna swatch the colors that I'm thinking about doing. Let's do Haze, Heavenly. These are really, really pretty though. <gasps> you know what some of these are reminding me of? Like these greens are kind of reminding me of the green that's in the um, Jackie Ina palette. Y'all know which one I'm talking about, the Anastasia by, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills by Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette, especially this color right here. Ooh. Let's use this. Let's use this. Look at that. Let me put this one on next. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Let's try Nova. Ooh. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. Okay, this is Nova. Oh my gosh, let's use this. Let's use this. Let's use Nova. Yes, I'm gonna use my finger though because I don't really like to use a brush when I dip into colors like this, like textures like this because it can get real messy real fast with me. I know a lot of people can do it. I can't really do it um, really good with the brush. So I just like to use my finger for this part. So I'm gonna press it onto the lid oh y'all this is so soft too it is so so soft can you okay oh i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this on first and then i'm gonna go in with that lighter color the the one in the middle what color was that heavenly yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this on first and then go on top of it with heavenly to make it really really pop now I do get the brush again though, just to blend everything out, blend everything together, but placing the color on the lid, I prefer to put it on with the finger. But is this not pretty? Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna take, um, okay, this is really pretty. Like it's, it's, it's not like boom in your face, but it's so, it looks so good, you know? 
And I like when my shadow doesn't look over the top, like boom in your face. You know, I like it really subtle, really soft, really pretty, really muted down. So now what I want to do is take the um, lighter color and we're going to put that in the inner corner, like right there. But before I do that, I'm going to take the brush that I was using earlier and tapping into Noble. The first shade that I used, this one right here. Tap into that and then kind of press it on the lid and also kind of blend it into that green so it can kind of fade into it better. So it can fade into one another. Okay, I actually got me an Anastasia brush. I love these, y'all. I got like 50 million of these things because I like to collect them. So I'm gonna take the little um, flat side of the Anastasia brush and go in with Heavenly. This green right here, so really bright lime green. Yeah, I might have to wet this because the brush is so freaking dry, but let me try it without wetting it. Let me try it. Putting it right here. Mm. This is cute. See how it just gave it that extra little razzle dazzle. Let me go put my lashes on and um, I'm gonna use the same products like my um, eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Fenty Wish You Would eyeliner in the shade because I'm black. I'm gonna put that on the waterline. And then I'm going to use this Bite Beauty Mascara. No, 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 actually I have this. Let's, oh, I'd rather use like new stuff. New mascaras when I'm not wearing false lashes. But let me show you this. I'm still gonna use this though. But I'm gonna use it with my lashes. So once I put my lashes on, you'll see me apply this. But this, look how cool this is. You got three different products. So you have volumizing number two. So this one is going to give you more volume. Ooh, that is a thick wand. And then you get, um, lengthening so number three this gives you the length there's that one and then um okay so there's a clear one so this is like a primer eyelash primer so you put this on before anything i'm not going to use this one though i'm just going to use the two the lengthening one and the volumizing one but before i do that let me put eyeliner on my eyes, put my lashes on, and then we'll go into the mascara. So I will be right back. I just lied to y'all, let me put this on real quick cause I wanna go back into the palette to smoke out the bottom lash line. So let me put this on my bottom lash line first, the um, eye pencil. Now taking the palette, I'm gonna go with the very first shade that I used, this color right there taking a really tiny pencil shader brush. And I'm just gonna smoke out the, um, the eye pencil with this color. All right, so ran and got my lashes, put glue on them. So I'm waiting for the glue to get a little sticky before I apply it. But I sat here and I was um, just staring at this palette and I realized the Jackiana palette, the front of it, is kind like it's not the same at all but it's kind of similar and then when i was looking at, when i was looking at my eyes when i went in the bathroom i was like wait a minute this look looks kind of familiar because sometimes you know the lighting can kind of throw you off like right here sitting like sitting here doing my eyes i didn't really think anything of it but once i went to the bathroom looked in the mirror i was like wait a minute this look looks kind of similar to the one I did with the Anastasia Jackie, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. And y'all know in that review or in that tutorial that I did with this palette, I used Dwellas, which is this color right here. And I use it the same way that I did Heavenly. And it kind of reminds me of that look. I also use Credit right here on the outer 
outskirts <laughs> the outer corner of my eye so if I can find that tutorial I will try my best to remember to have it linked in the description but if you guys just go to my page or just go type in Andrea Renee Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette it, the tutorial will pop up but I'm gonna try to remember to have it up there now I'm not saying this palette is anything like the new Anastasia palette but I'm saying if you like this look and if you didn't get your hands on Jackie's palette then I would say try this one because I don't think they have this one anymore it was limited edition I don't think they sell her palette anymore but if you didn't get your hands on it and you really like the look that I came up with. I'd say get the new metal, uh, what is it called? The root rose metals. Cause um, I mean, this look is pretty similar to the one I did with Jackie's palette. I will say the um, the brown in the rose metal palette is not as rich as the brown in Jackie's palette. But I mean, the look is kind of similar. I mean, it's there, really pretty. So yeah, girl, if you didn't get Jackie's palette, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but if you did, maybe try this one from Anastasia because I mean her eyeshadows are like some of the best eyeshadows but even the like the packaging I mean it's not just like Jackie's palette but it still has that um that foil look Jackie's palette you can see the colors as you shift it around but this one is just one color but I really 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 like the eyes okay my lashes might be dry by now okay it's not I like to let them sit because I don't like to put them on right when I put the glue on if I do that they're not gonna stay so I just let the glue sit for a few minutes but yes girl if you didn't get Jackie's palette and you've been wanting Jackie's palette and you love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows I'd say maybe try out this one the new one from Anastasia um, I mean, obviously, you're not going to get the same colors that are in Jackie's palette because Jackie's palette has more pinks and purples. But if you like the greens, um, the browns, the warm colors, then I think you'll like the rose metals eyeshadow palette. OK, I think this is good. Hopefully this is. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, I don't usually put this, Use I don't usually film myself doing this because it takes me six years to do it, but I don't feel like turning the camera off. So I'm just gonna film myself putting my lash on. And I don't use tweezers because I feel like they get in the way. I'm so backwards. I know a lot of people prefer to use tweezers when they put on their lashes, but I prefer to use my fingers because it just works for me. It's always worked for me. And I feel like I have more control when I do it this way. Okay, I might need to put, yeah, I let the glue sit too long and now it's not sticking. Dang it. What about the other one? Let's try the other one. Cause I put the glue on last on this one. Okay, this one's sticking, I can tell. Yeah, I let that other one sit too long. So if you let it, if you let the glue sit too long, it's not gonna stick. Just let the glue sit for a few, not even a few minutes. Like, I mean, at least until it gets tacky. I know the lash isn't all the way on. But at least until the glue gets tacky or sticky. And then you want to go ahead and put the lash on. But um, I'm going to have to put glue on my other lash. Uh, ooh, that looks so good. It looks so, so good once I put the lash on. I mean, it looked good before I put the lash on, but the lash just gives it, like it just takes it to a whole nother level, girl. But, okay, so the glue, I, the, the glue I use is House of Lash glue. I use the dark one because I prefer dark glue over the white glue. Cause sometimes, I know the white glue is supposed to draw down clear. I mean, it does draw down clear, but 
it just looks so much better with the dark with the black glue because it looks more natural and sometimes when i um oh great sometimes when see when i'm recording myself doing my lashes they want to act up like why was that lifting up it usually don't be lifting anyway but yeah when i put the black glue on it almost makes it look like i have on eyeliner and i don't be putting eyeliner on the on the top anymore i just only use eyeliner on the bottom lash line but that's why i like to use the black lash glue because it just makes it look more natural all right i'm gonna let that sit i'm Try not to let it sit too long like I did the first time because it did not stick. But how pretty. Like, look at the difference, y'all. This one is just like, and then this one is like, but it's still pretty. <laughs> and then once I put the mascara on, it's going to really make it pop from the top all right now let's see if this works and i can't even explain how i put my lashes on i just do it <laughs> so sorry if i'm not explaining it I'm just putting it on and I go piece by piece. Like I put it on in the middle, sit it on the middle and then I grab the end of it. And then I grab the inner corner of it and press it in or press it. See, this is why I can't explain how I'm doing my lashes cause they don't make sense. But hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. Press it into there, just like that. I let it sit for a couple of seconds, fan it, and then I press it in again, like press it into, just like that, to make sure that it's on. Now I just need to put some mascara on. I'm gonna use the um, number two volumizing first and then threes. I kinda wanna use this one instead of the volumizing one because the one isn't as big and I wanna do this for my bottom lashes. So, cause I have really tiny, tiny lashes. Yeah, this is good for the bottom lashes. Yeah, I like this one for my bottom lashes. I know I'll, I'll probably like it for my top ones too, but this, I like how this is giving me lashes on the bottom. I like it. And I don't pull it all the way on to the fake lash. I just keep it on my real lash. Kind of wiggle it and press it into the lashes. Okay. Y'all, that lip mask is gone. Like, it's dried up. My lips definitely need something else. But the eyes, the eyes, I can't get over how pretty they are. I'm going to um, fix my brow. Y'all know I always go back into the brow to fix it. I'm just fluffing it out a little bit with the spoolie. I'm gonna take some of my Charlotte Tilbury um, powder, setting powder, and I'm gonna take the sponge that I didn't use today. This is the Sephora strawberries something, strawberries something, strawberries and cream sponge uh, set. It comes in a set of two. But I'm gonna take the sponge and go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade three dark. Y'all, I don't, they don't have this color anymore unless they, it's, 
the number is different, but I was looking for another one because clearly I'm about to run out. And I couldn't find this one on the site. And it says three dark on here. I couldn't find three dark on the website. But anyway, I'm taking the powder and putting it on the side of my nose and kind of under my eye as a finishing touch. And this is just gonna smooth everything out. And then I also take it over the bronzer that I put on my nose. Well, the, yeah, take it over that to soften it up. And you can see a huge difference this side compared to this side. But yeah, I need to get me another one of these. I just gotta find this same exact color. Maybe she has it in a different, maybe the number is different, but I couldn't find three dark on the site for some reason. Okay, okay, we are pretty much done. I wanna go back into Heavenly from the eyeshadow palette to put some more right here. To make it pop even more. Right there, there we go, yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. That is it, yes, 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 okay. And I am done with the eyes. Blush is next, uh, let's do, so okay. I have, remember I have the House Labs um, highlighter but I'm gonna use it as a blush. But I wanted to pull out a few things from Fenty Beauty just to kind of compare it to this. This is in the shade Chocolate Opal. I feel like this is kind of similar to Penny For You Thoughts from Fenty. So look at that. Does it not look kind of similar to Penny For You Thoughts? So I pulled it out. I actually pulled two out. So I have Penny For You Thoughts. And this is Fenty Beauty's Freestyle Highlighter. But I use this as a blush and I also use it as eyeshadow. I used to um, just put bronzer on my lid and then go on top of it with this. And it's, it makes a really pretty combo. But let me give you guys side by oh, side by side comparison. So does does not look similar. So let's talk house labs. Have I been saying house of labs? But it's house labs. So this is how house labs look. You can see this is like a rose, coppery, rose, gold type of shade. And then Penny For You Thoughts from Fenty. So this has chunky glitter in it, like chunky rose gold glitter, but it's not like a crazy amount, but it's definitely there. Um, you can see more, yeah. So Fenty is a little bit darker. You can definitely see the rose gold shimmer in Fenty. But I thought it would look really similar just looking at it in the palette. But now that I've seen it swatched, it there is a difference. But I also pulled out another product from Fenty, which is the um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Y'all, I used to use the mess out of this stuff. Now that I see it, it's definitely lighter. Yeah, it's definitely lighter than... Let me just swatch them, though. Yeah, it's lighter than, um, but it's still kind of in the same family. So like the rose gold, but you can definitely see a difference. So I'm going to use the new House Labs as my blush today. Um, Cause it definitely, I mean, it could be pretty as a blush topper. So if I wanted to use a blush and then go on top of it with that, I think it'll be really pretty. But let's just see what it looks like as blush. Okay, this is cute. And I can tell I have to go in some more to really get that color to pop, but it'll definitely make a really pretty blush topper. I mean, you can see the glow right there. It'll be a really pretty glow um, blush topper on top of a lot of my favorite blushes, but I'm just gonna wear this by itself today. 
This is so pretty, y'all. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yes, I am here. I'm here for it. It is so cute. Okay, I'm so annoying. Um, that is it. Oh wait, no. We're gonna do the lips. Let's try out the House Labs lip gloss. What what is it called? The Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer in the shade Rose Shine. So I don't know if I want to do a liner with this. I don't know. But before I put a lip liner on, let me just put this on by itself. So this is supposed to be a transfer proof gloss. Like it's supposed to look really glossy on the lips, but it's not supposed to transfer. So you're supposed to shake it up first. We're going to give it a little shake, 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 shake. This is how it looks. This is actually glass, y'all. I did not know that. But this is like glass really really luxurious but you're supposed to give it a shake before using it and i'm gonna swatch it on my hand so y'all can see the color gorgeous now i don't wait is this gonna look good with the eyes though i think it will it's okay but i just want to try it and see so i'm gonna put it on the lips And then you're supposed to let it sit for like a few seconds and then it's supposed to be transfer proof. I'm not gonna put it all over my lip line cause I think I wanna go in with the lip liner. I'm just gonna put just enough on to see. Okay, so you can see that is glossy. It's pretty glossy right there. And you're supposed to let it sit for how long? I don't know. It doesn't say on the box, but I'm just going to let it sit for a few, few, few minutes just to see. So, all right, we're gonna test it out. So we can see that it's glossy, really glossy on the lips. So let's try to do a kiss test. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I don't wanna have to wait that long though. So, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> let's go ahead and put a lip liner on because I really don't wanna have to wait for this to um but this is a pretty color though i will say this is a really pretty color let me go ahead and put on the sephora gel liner in the shade molasses mm -hmm. we didn't try this one out though the maybelline ink super stay vinyl ink you're supposed to shake this one too, but I don't know what this color looks like. Oh, it kind of looks similar. Oh, this color is actually a little similar to the one I just applied. I'm going to put it on top because why not? This is cute. Okay. Last thing I want to do to my face is spray it because um, I like to spray my face with a touch of mist to give it that skin-like look. So I'm gonna open this up and spray the face. And ooh. and then I take the sponge and press in the product. You can definitely see a difference once I spray the face. Like it doesn't doesn't look as matte as it did. Like it looks 
good okay let me take my hair down so that is it girl that is all for today's little get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you tried any of these products do you like the products do you not like it let's talk about it down below in the comments and also give me your recommendations what are some other products you guys want me to try out let me know down there as well and i will go shop for them and try them out with you guys but that is it i like everything i use today honestly and truly i like it so i'm gonna have to keep using it though to really see how you know the products wear and all of that you guys know i always 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 come back and give you guys updates on the products that i use so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos but i will say very impressed with the eyeshadow palette very 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 impressed um but anything else you guys want me to try out on the channel let me know give me the recommendations down below but that is it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today while i did my little face if you guys enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next one